Hello, I am Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to one of my Windows 10 installations. Basically, this will be an installation for a E-Machine ET1331G. So, basically, the key things you're going to need. This CD key. Basically, you got to make sure you find it. You should find it on the side of the tower or the case somewhere. This is for the E-Machine. It'd be the bluish uh, purple sticker, as you see in this. But it'd be almost just like this. You know, just look around on it. And then second one, you're gonna need a Windows copy of Windows 10, 64-bit for this machine too. Um, so because it's got more than four gigs, uh, more than three gigs of RAM. So yeah, gonna, you know, you know, there's a video I'll have I'll make for so you know, how to make a copy of Windows 10, 64, or 32-bit if need be. So, but those are the two key things you're going to need to do this for Windows 10 installation for this e-machine. Okay, well, let's put the CD in. So, you got to put the CD in while it's powered on. I recommend you back up any files, pictures, like your like your pictures, your documents, your your more, most important files up onto a separate drive if possible, because it's going to wipe it all out. Uh, if you want to try the music, if you got the space to back it up, go right ahead. Or movies, yeah, again, if you have the space or on a separate drive, you're fine. But yeah, I recommend you back those up before you do this. This is going to wipe it up. And another key thing, uh, well, it will wipe out the recovery partition. Uh, so you won't be able to recover back to the factory re default settings to Windows 7. Because uh, this originally had Windows 7 on it. It's right now, as you can see, it has Windows 10. This is from a previous installation. They got a nasty virus in the computer. And it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. They just was going to do, do a for, format and reinstall the whole system. I would just do a factory reset with Windows 10 on this computer. But I want to make a video to do how uh, to install Windows 10 on it. So it's basically just doing the same method. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now, after you got your CD in the machine, the E machine, you're gonna want to. Uh, after you popped it in, you want to go ahead and shut her down, completely down. Go ahead and shut down. Okay, as soon as your computer is completely off, after you got your CD and everything in, uh, for when you first turn it on, basically go ahead and turn it on when you're ready. And as soon as the E comes up on the screen, you want to tap F12. Until it says uh, entering boot, uh, please wait. Then stop. Then, you want to look for it says like like HDL DT it might be different but it says DVD ROM or DVD RAM you want to select that one and you want to go down and hit enter as soon as it pops up go ahead and hit any key on the keyboard and let it boot from disk Okay, at this point you want to make sure everything is correct, like your basically your language to install, your time and currency format, your keyboard layout, or it's at default anyways. Uh, if it looks like it's correct, go ahead and click next. And then just click install now. Okay, at this point you're going to need your CD key, as I said, I hope you, if you've written it down on a piece of paper or it's on the side of the case, um, if you can, you know, you got, if you can read it, fine, off the side of the case, but it has to be exactly on that case, it'd be a bunch of, uh, it'd be called the Windows product key, and the example on the bottom, okay, 
and you go ahead and want to type that in. After you're finished typing it in, go ahead and click next. Okay, click I accept the license terms, then click next. Go ahead and click the custom install windows only advance. Okay, each partition here you see, you gotta must delete each one of these. Basically, like if you have a recovery partition, um, as I said, like this one does right here. If you wipe this out, if you already didn't, if you didn't put Windows 10 already on your machine, normally it's no good anyways. Um, because the after that's gone, is this you can't do a factory reset back to Windows 7. You must do a factory reset in Windows 10. Um, there is a video. I do have a video on that so how to do it. So, because it will erase that factory reset. So for Windows 7, that would be gone. Okay. All right. Basically, it's going to delete any files on your hard drive too, like your pictures, your documents. I said before in the beginning of the video, you should back it up and everything else. All right. Start. Okay. You want to start from the top partition. One. You want to click delete and click OK. Next one down, you want to click delete, click OK, and again, second, next one, you click delete, and click OK, till you get this, this drive zero out in the other kid's space, that means there's no partitions on the hard drive anymore, okay, now we want to create a new whole partition, you want to click new, then click apply, then click OK. This should create a partition for your OS, your Windows 10, and your cache drive for your for your cache. So, all right. And after you're done with that, just click next, and it starts. Okay, when you get to this, uh, go ahead and click Use Express Settings. Okay, if you have a Microsoft account, go ahead and sign into it. If not, if you uh, go, you might want to go ahead and create one if you want to. If if you don't want to create one or sign in with a Microsoft account, go ahead and click skip this step down here. This way, you can create a local account on your computer. 
basically you want to go to type in the name of your choosing Password is not required. You want to put a password, go ahead and put one in. We don't have to have it. If you're all done, just click next. Okay, that's basically how you install Windows 10. Um, if you have a network cable plugged in already, you'd be fine, but you want to make sure it is plugged in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click yes on this because the network cable is plugged in on this. So, because this way you can get your updates and stuff done and make sure you're connected to the internet itself. Uh, this don't have Wi Fi on it. So, basically, one key thing you want to look for if you're done with the installation. You want to make sure you have all your drivers, it's all the drivers installed on this machine. Uh, Windows 10, the update, the uh, <clears throat> Windows Updater should pick up all the drivers. If not, I will provide a link to the to the um, driver that is missing if it's not if not have been found by the Windows updates. Okay, well, so we're gonna check what we're gonna check what devices are missing currently right now. Okay, we want to go down here. We want to click the Start menu. Then you want to click settings. As soon as that comes up, you want to click devices. Then you want to go to the scroll bar here or use the scroll button on your mouse and scroll all the way to the bottom. Click device manager. As you see, there is no missing drivers whatsoever. That's good, but most likely, I'm pretty sure the display driver, yep. Um, hopefully the Windows Updater will pick that up. So, because this is just a generic driver for this, for your video. So, but Windows Update should pick it up. All right, looks like there's no missing drivers so far. That's a good, that's a plus. All right, after exit all that, we want to go back down to start. Go to settings, and you want to go down here to update and security. Click that. Then you want to go ahead and click check for updates. So of course, there are going to be updates for Windows 10. So, as you see there, there's updates that are starting to download and will install if they're finished downloading. So basically, you want to kind of rerun that again to make sure there's no more updates for the machine. Um, it should find the video drivers with no problem. So, if any questions or any anything you need to know, if you need help with, just leave a comment below. Um, I'll leave some in the links and descriptions how to burn the a copy of Windows 10 and stuff like that for you. Uh, or you can get to the link to download it and everything. So, any any just as I said, thanks for watching my video. If you find this helpful. Please like and subscribe. You all have a good day. Um, thank you.